hi guys and welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in so today we are going to be doing an unboxing video and today we're going to be unboxing Tom Ford Orchid Soleil oh my god I'm so excited to do that unboxing with you guys before I get into the unboxing I just wanted to say because of the amount of request videos that I've been getting I've decided to add one extra day in the week that I upload a video usually I up upload videos if you're new to the channel welcome by the way and um, usually I upload a video every Thursday and Saturday but because of the amount after I asked you guys what you guys want to see instead of me just filming I um and maybe you guys just sitting and waiting to see if I would upload that one video that you guys would like to see. I put out, um, I asked you guys if you wanted to see any videos and so many of you guys responded. Thank you guys so much for the video suggestions. With that, I've been able to add one more day because I have so many request videos to get, to get through. So every Tuesday from now, actually every Tuesday from this week because on Tuesday I posted the perfume hunt video so I went on I went shopping with you guys I tested a whole bunch of like um, perfumes also and I gave you my first impressions in that perfume hunt video so every Tuesday now I'm going to be posting up a requested video so anytime you guys send me any request I'm going to be posting it on Tuesday and then on Thursday I plan that it's Thursdays are gonna be perfume videos like an unboxing or a review or something and then every Saturday we're gonna do home decor because I know some of you guys also love my home decor videos so we'll split it that way for a while now and see how it goes so without further ado and Tuesday's video was requested by Maggie. Thank you, girl. So, getting right into the video without wasting any more time. Today, I am unboxing, like I already said, um, Tom Ford Orchid Soleil. So, I went shopping on Tuesday and I was... No, I went shopping on Saturday and posted it on Tuesday. I went um, shopping on Saturday and my initial plan was to come back home with one perfume which that was a fail so i came home with three perfumes i showed you guys two of the perfumes in my um in the video but i have kept one as a secret and i still um will keep it as a secret until the in in the next um upload days when i'll be unboxing it with you guys as well so um I went and I was testing so many perfumes like I was trying so many I was there like I think I spent pretty much most of the morning trying out scents I also said in that video at the end of it that the reason why I go out and I try so many scents your nose at some point starts smelling like everything smells the same and I feel like this is a great time even though there's um a disadvantage that you could miss out on a really great scent but um because it might just smell the same as everything just because your nose is so tired and like you you've been smelling a lot of things but um i find that the advantage is better for me because i feel like if i go out a day and i smell so many scents and like i try to smell as many scents as i can at some point my nose is gonna give up on me and I start it happens maybe just with me everything begins to smell the same but I also like when I get to this point because at this point is when anything that stands out to me and I like I know that that's that is an unusual scent if that makes sense so that's what I did on Tuesday and I um, so also another thing I wanted to clear up in my vlog on Tuesday when you guys hear me on this channel say a perfume is basic I don't mean that that perfume is not good I simply mean that it's a lot similar to a lot of other scents out there I love unique scents I like to be the only person in that room smelling of that scent so when I say oh it's basic I don't mean it's bad or I wouldn't buy it I simply mean that like it's it could be even nice, but 
it smells a lot like every other scent out there so um i'm actually trying to untie the little um ah eh, i think yeah i'm trying to un untie the little knot that was tied i love i love the packaging by the way i'll show you guys the packaging right now yeah there we are so there are these little ribbons and then you have this little shoeless type look alike it's really really it's it, it looks and feels like a shoeless but it's a little bit shiny and stuff i really love the packaging outside anyway so inside it it, it came like this i think you just pull that off and it is just um a black see-through paper I'll, I'll show you guys that i'm trying to get one sheet of it okay so that no you guys can't see that but anyway it's quite um see-through and it's just like a soft paper so that is what they used to cover there and then inside oh they re literally wrapped it up so beautifully like okay so we've seen the book that's it <laughs> oh my god i really really look at that that is so beautiful tom ford the packaging is just oh yeah i love that so let's untie that oh by the way um this is tom ford orchid slate the orchid range has uh, you know guys i have tom ford velvet orchid i um have talked that in many videos so that's the tie there i've talked about that in previous videos and then it's literally like a gift wrap so here and there as well just um unwrap it this was 115 pounds in house of fraser here in belfast i don't know how much it would be elsewhere but i got it in house of fraser or oh, they've even uh put a little um kind of sticker st sticker so you have to pull that open oops mm. oh that is that is definite oh yeah so it was like literally sticky tape right there and ah, it's also in my um that's the favorite it's also in my favorite color like oh my goodness i am like so this is 100 uh, mils and it's um eau de parfum so again we'll un unwrap the paper now just uh ah I am not I should have brought something to like help me you would think after the last unboxing I would not uh, so ah. uh, no. it is quite a uh, tough paper up like a like um, and then you just have the ingredients there here is Tom Ford orchid soleil on the front and then all the parfum 100 ml um, or 3.4 fluid ounces if that makes better sense to you ah, I cannot actually open this Ooh, okay there so we've got it open and on the top of the I hope you guys are seeing this. Here you just have the Tom Ford um, thingy on the front there. So when you open it, you pull that off. And here we have it. So that is Tom Ford. The first thing. Again, I always love Tom Ford's packaging. At the bottom, you have like all that writing, if it makes sense to you guys, and then Tom Ford Soleil. It is a see-through bottle, so I can see through the, the bottle completely. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you guys can see that. I will try to 
film a cut away of it if you can't see that but I can completely easily see the fluid inside and so it's this really it's nice it's like rose gold um, color that I really like the cover is quite firm on it just have the normal Tom Ford thing over there it's quite oh it's quite like firm on which I really love about perfumes some perfumes don't do that there are covers come like in there like really flimsy this one is quite a uh, wow that's actually like a very strong that is a very strong clip on cover so nothing with the cover it's just like white and it's got white inside there like a white covering and then around here there's no marks or anything um so i will spray it on again i should probably like not wear jewelry when i do this the last video i was unboxing i also had my um jewelry on anyway so i will try the tom ford now and then i will give you guys my first impressions when i got it I obviously smelled it he the guy like put it on a paper on a sample paper because like I said I was sampling so many since that day and by the time that I got to Tom Ford I was literally smelling like a perfume store <laughs> like a perfume shop I had so much sense on me so um the guy actually put that on a paper and literally at the the first time I smelled that I was just like whoa like i never smelled anything like it tom ford is really good for that like every time i go to tom ford and i try a scent with them it's usually like even um the purple one velvet ochre that one was like when it was literally but it wasn't as much love as at first sniff as this one was because this one was literally like whoa and i didn't bother to try anything else on the tom ford counter i was just like that's i'm getting that like that give me that i i really need this so this is um marketed as a summer scent it's supposed to be like um a really summer scent i think you can even use it in spring i know some people use it um all year round because it's a unique scent and that's the great thing about unique scents sometimes you can um wear them all year round but anyway i will try it i'll try it on now and let it dry down it is it is a beautiful the only way i can put it now is i i it is it smells very very soft sophisticated like what a rich like a really rich um woman in her t in her 30s would wear like a very rich woman in like it is not mature it is um ageless to me it's not for a mature person it's not for a young person like anybody with class can wear this i think oh i have never it's reminding me of something really good but i can't remember what it is i don't know whether it's an aunt that always used to have this smell on her or similar it's in malawi though that's the weird thing i this scent brings me to malawi but i don't remember it's powder floral powdery like it's powdery and floral as well and the floral is like some white flower i need to check the notes and everything um on this scent and obviously i'll wear it for a while i know without a, a shadow of a doubt that i love this scent i don't think that can ever change i don't think it will change because literally like i tell you guys when i smelled it the first time i was like blown away by this scent and now it keeps i'm like oh, it um it smelled 
like my auntie's baby in Malawi. I don't know. It... That's, it's like my auntie's baby in Malawi. That's actually that scent. And my aunt as well. That is amazing. I love, love the scent. It is now, again, it's too early to make a statement like this, but I think this will be the fav the most, my most favorite scent in my collection. Hands down, I love Sole. And It's, I can wear it all seasons. It's all seasonal for me. I think it would come alive in summer, but it's all seasonal for me. I don't know what Tom Ford did. Did they capture the sun and put it in the bottle? I don't understand. The scent isn't overpowering. It is very light yet present. That's what I'm saying. That's what how I want to put it. It's very light. Like it, people can smell it around you. Wow, that is a beautiful scent. It actually smells like my auntie's baby in Malawi. I don't know whether she wore perfume and it rubbed on her clothes or whatever, but like the memory it brings to my head is my auntie's baby in Malawi. Ah, and all her stuff. Like everything around her I smell of this. That is beautiful. Anyway, guys, that is my first impressions on Tom Ford. I really like it. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. I love the, the, the packaging as well. Tom Ford, I really love, even though I love the Velvet Orchid, I really love this even more. Like it's rose gold. Come on, like literally. Imagine that on your, on your dressing table or something. It's just like stunning. So, and you guys saw the packaging. It's insane. Like I love it. So, yeah, this is the new baby, Tom Ford Soleil. I love this scent. I want to smell like this all the time. In fact, this is my new signature scent. It's going to run out really quickly, but I literally want to smell like this all the time. Anyway, guys, after I wear it for a while, we're going into spring and summer. I'm traveling a lot and we will, we, we will be talking about this scent because I think it's the only thing that I wear in summer. I really believe it. But anyway... Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was interesting to you or um, you found it helpful. If you guys have any requests, hit your girl up because I will do your videos for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my, video, in my next video. I love you lot. So I'll see you guys on Saturday and then on Tuesday. Like I say, Tuesday is new request day. Any request videos, I put them up on Tuesday. Thank you guys for your continued support, for all your love, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Just want to bath in it and leave in it.